Hello everyone and welcome to RoboCircuits. My name is Prashant and today we are going to look at LoRa32 from Heltech Automations. It is basically a ESP32 based device but and with an additional LoRa module installed in it. So basically we will have three technologies here, long range wireless, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. And additionally, we have a 0 0.96 inch 128 into 64 pixels OLED display and inbuilt LiPo management. So let's open this box and check what we get inside the box. So first of all, we have the module itself. So here we have the ESP32 chip. On the other side, we have the OLED display an antenna and buttons to program it. On the back side, we have the connector for installing the battery, which is right here. So this is the module. And additionally, in the box, we get an antenna with it. So we can simply use a micro B to USB cable to attach this thing to our computer, but in order to program this thing with the Arduino IDE, we need to make some changes. Let's get to the computer screens and install the Heltech ESP32 framework so that we could program this thing with our Arduino IDE. So now we are going to install the Heltech ESP32 framework on our Arduino IDE. So first of all, if you are using a Windows laptop, open the Arduino IDE, go to File, click on Preferences and paste this link in the Additional Board Manager URL right here. Let me show you how you can do it in Mac. Open the Arduino IDE, go to Arduino IDE Settings and paste the link in Additional Board Manager URL just like this and click on OK and again click on OK. Now we have to go to tools and then we will go to boards and click on board manager. In the board manager we will search for Heltech ESP32 and now we will have we will have to install this one. It can take some time, so we have to wait for a while once everything is installed. The ports have been installed. Now we have to go to the library manager and search for Heltech ESP32. Then this library, Heltech ESP32 dev boards, you have to install this. So now first of all, we have to select the board. We will search for Heltech ESP32. You do not have to select from one of these. Select Wi Fi LoRa 32 V2. And now let's plug in our board. And now select the port and click on OK. Now go to Files, Examples, and from here select the Heltech ESP32 dev boards and go to factory test and select Wi-Fi LoRa 32 V2 factory test. Now the example code will open. This is the code we are going to program but change this to 433 and rest everything has to be same. Uh, let's take a quick look and how the code has been written. First of all, we will go to the setup function. In the setup, we begins the serial monitor. And then we initialize the display. After that, we clear the display. Then we set up the Wi-Fi, disconnect it, go to station mode. Then we will scan the Wi-Fi. Uh, then we will attach an interrupt on the GPIO 0. We will initialize the LoRa module. Then this is the loop function. Here we will send and receive the LoRa data. You can read it. It's really easy to understand. 
without wasting time let's upload this code onto the web module so here we have two modules one is connected to my laptop and the other one is connected to a power bank now let's reset both of them now you can see whenever i reset a board it shows hiltech automation now it's tried to connect to the wi-fi but we haven't given any wi-fi credentials so now it will start scanning for the available wi-fi networks and it has found two networks now it is waiting for lora data to be sent and you can see it is getting the send number three four and a connection signal of minus 21 db and on the other module we are getting almost same and the numbers will keep on changing because these guys are sending data to one another let's increase their distance by a little bit and check now you can see the connection signal strength is minus 31 now and if i keep it closer to one another it reduced to minus 81 in this way we can communicate two lora modules to one another and send data and the best part about these modules are these are wi-fi enabled modules so you can use these kind of products in iot based applications like if i have to monitor my house water tank then i can set up one of these modules on the top of my building in the water tank and the other one in my house close to a router then i can send the data from the tank to the other modules and then through the wi-fi to my mobile app or using iot so what do you think what kind of project we should make using these lora modules let me know in the comment section then we will make a video on it so this was it for this video i hope you enjoyed it if you have any doubt regarding this setup process kindly let me know in the comment section there is also an article posted on the website robocircuits.com for these modules if you have any doubts if you want the link for the board manager then you can get it from the article Thank you for watching and have a nice day.